Good morning, I'm Leona from SNS and today we're going to um, demonstrate how to create an artwork in pen and wash on our concertina book that we've made in our, our previous clip. So I've used again the Fabriano Torchon paper. I have already uh, folded it because it was part of our um, concertina booklet which is here. So I've flattened it back out um, and now I'm going to fill it in. Now previously I have actually drawn in a beach scene with the Pigma Microns. Now I've done it in an 08. It is a black ink which is archival and is waterproof when dry. So now I can come back in with um, ink or watercolour and, and fill in. So I'm going to use the Secura Koi watercolours, which is quite a lovely set. They um, come complete with a water brush and a palette, but you could use the Jack Richardson semi-moist tempera uh, blocks. You can use watercolour inks. You can use any other watercolours that you might have. So um, just going to just wet the brush. So this is a Secura watercolour brush. Um, which is quite nice to use. So I'm just going to start with a bit of the um, C. I'm just going to give it a little bit of a squeeze. And then I'm going to come in and start filling in. Now with watercolour, the, the less water and the more paint, the darker it is. So we're wanting a bit of a darker edge out the back there. As you use the water coming out of the brush, it actually drags the colour along. So it's quite nice to use that effect so that pulls the colour down with, with the water. I'm not going to fill in the whole amount because um, it would take a while, but I'll just change colours. And I'll come in and do a bit of the bush that's surrounding the beach area. So it's just a mere suggestion of colour and it doesn't necessarily have to keep within the lines. We're just trying to put a bit of colour to suggest the bushes that are the vegetation that's normally near the edges of beaches. Now following our other watercolour videos, you can use any of the techniques that you might have. So I'm going to um, use a little bit of salt on this one, just so you can see the technique of the salt, just as to where you might like to place it. Just washing the brush in between so I'm not transferring the colour. Uh, and then I'm going to go to the yellow to give a bit of a sand colour. And I might just do this over here, getting some yellow in, using quite a lot of water because at this edge here I'm going to put some um, rock salt on. So this will give it that lovely effect, how it draws um, a bit of rock salt right on the edge. And then I might come in with a little bit of the um, table salt. So when that dries, the salt will absorb that and it will actually give you a lovely speckled effect. Just changing colours again, we'll just go back into the blue, and just fill a little bit more of this in. I'm not going to complete the whole picture, but I'll show you an end result. Now with the watercolour, just keep it nice and fluid. So you're making the ink or making the watercolour work so it's actually coming down with it. The colour's drawing down. You can also spray the page as well and then it will just sort of make it work a bit quicker for you. And of 
course you can come in with the sponges as well so on these little bits here you can sponge a little bit of the watercolour out to make it a little bit lighter make sure you do it while it's still wet um, so that is how we're just going to use the watercolours to fill into a watercolour um, tech, uh, a painting and that's our final result. Okay, so I hope you liked um, the demonstration of the watercolours. Thank you.